My compatriots and the foreigners who live among us. The holding of the presidential election we have just undergone is above all the victory of the people. The Senegalese people in their committed fight for the defense of their sovereignty and democratic values. This victory is therefore that of all Senegalese women and all Senegalese people here and in the diaspora. Let us give thanks to God for allowing us to live this historical moment of our nation's life. I would like to thank the Senegalese people for choosing me and beyond me for the projects that I carry and share with many compatriots. I salute the stance of the other candidates who, without exception, have honored a well-known Senegalese tradition, even without waiting for the official results to be proclaimed by the competent state authorities. Their messages of congratulations are an important testament to their greatness, their humility, their attachment to Republican values and democratic principles. I salute the stamps of President Macky Sall, whose vigilance and commitments have ensured a free, democratic and transparent election, which will, hence be a result recognized by all the protagonists, while listening to the pains and sufferings experienced in recent years. The broken lives, as well as the ones that were lost, I would like to recognize and salute the attachment of our people to democracy, justice and equality. I also thank and congratulate all the leaders of political parties, associations, citizen movements and independent personalities who have believed in our project and have supported the coalition that I represent. I join the other candidates to congratulate the state services that have ensured the material organization of the election, the international observers, who I also associate with my thanks, will undoubtedly testify to the regularity of the vote. By electing the President of the Republic, the Senegalese people have chosen to break away, to give faith to the immense hopes raised by our social project. And to give body to these aspirations, I commit to govern with humility and transparency, to combat corruption at all levels. I commit to dedicating myself fully to the rebuilding of our institutions and the strengthening of the foundations of our living. Together, I call on our brothers and sisters in Africa so that together we consolidate the gains obtained in the process of building the integration of ECOWAS while correcting weaknesses and changing certain methods, strategy, strategy and political priorities. I will carry out similar actions with the same order, out of obligation for the unity and political and economic integration of the continent. I declare to the international community and our bilateral and multilateral partners that Senegal will always maintain its rank. It will remain the friendly country, a sure and reliable ally for all partners, who will engage with us in a virtuous, respectful and mutually productive relationship. I have a thought for women and young people, an important part of the nation's resources will be mobilized to alleviate their suffering 
and their lack of prospects. The Semigolese people have understood and chosen a project that will allow to unleash the creative energy that lies dormant in each of us and to mobilize and value the important human, spiritual, and natural resources that abound in our country to make it the engine of our rebound in view of the emergencies and the hope placed in us. We will work tirelessly and methodically around the priority sites, the most important of which in her eyes are national reconciliation and the reconstruction of the basis of our living together, the refoundation of institutions and the significant reduction of the cost of living. Inclusive national sectoral projects, OMI evaluation and revival of public policies. My dear compatriots, this election occurred in a context marked by a pre-electoral crisis that caused lives, caused numerous injuries and saw many patriots imprisoned. We intend to turn this page to reconcile hearts and reconcile Senegalese and put ourselves together to work that should mark and realize the hope that was aroused by my election and the project that I carry.